The Originator Connect Network, the nation's largest producer of mortgage events, is about fostering a community founded on professionalism, collaboration, and personal and professional growth, connecting you to the story of your success. Find an event near you at OriginatorConnectNetwork.com. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Sarah Wolak. As earnings reports keep coming in, the news continues to be gloomy, including one company reporting a net loss this morning. And the numbers are causing more companies to bow out. We'll have more on that coming up, but first, those earnings reports. We'll start with Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, who both saw their earnings fall by at least half from last year. First came Fannie. The government-sponsored enterprise saw $2.4 billion in net income in the third quarter, down 50% from this time last year. Freddie saw a similar drop. Its $1.3 billion in net income for the quarter is down 55% from a year ago. Some Republicans in Congress have raised concerns recently that Fannie and Freddie are not meeting their capital requirements. Today, Fannie Mae says the GSE is able to make up for that by using earnings to pad its net worth. The most recent Dodd-Frank Act stress test confirmed that Freddie Mac has sufficient retained earnings today to weather a hypothetical, severely adverse economic scenario. Meanwhile, the news was a lot tougher for Angel Oak Mortgage Incorporated, who saw a loss for the third straight quarter. And the deficits keep getting bigger. Angel Oak Mortgage lost $83.3 million in the third quarter. That's after losing $52.1 million last quarter and $43.5 million in the first quarter. The company pointed to instability in the fixed income market with limited capital market activity for non-qualified mortgage lenders. It also blamed the Fed continuing to raise rates. Despite the loss and a drop in its book value, Angel Oak says the credit performance of its assets remains strong and its company is optimistic about its outlook. Coming up, another company shutters its doors. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.nemortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.nemortgageexpo.com. Direct lender Athos Capital Group is closing up shop but the company says it wants to, quote, bow out like gentlemen. The company said on LinkedIn earlier this month that it will wind down operations. That includes honoring any loans currently in the pipeline. Athos works in the non-qualified mortgage market. The company also notified 210 employees in California that they'll be laid off on January 3rd. Since its founding in 2008, Athos funded more than 14,000 loans totaling $5.5 billion. And finally, do you know a woman helping to advance tech in the mortgage industry? Then let us know. We're seeking nominees for our Women of Tech Awards. These are women who are bringing the industry into the modern age, especially those who are pioneers and mentoring the next generation in their careers. Honorees will be recognized in a future edition of Mortgage Women magazine and on the show. The deadline to nominate is November 18th, and self-nominations are welcome. Just go to nmplink.com forward slash women of tech. We'll be right back with what else is interesting. The Originator Connect Network, connecting you to the story of your success. Find an event near you at originatorconnectnetwork.com. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. As inventory is starting to rebound, there's more newly built homes for sale. A new report from Redfin saw nearly a third of homes for sale being new builds. That's a direct result of the surge of construction that we experienced during the early months of the pandemic. Now, builders are beginning to sell these properties, and Redfin says that construction will likely slow in 2023. For more on these and all of today's top stories, visit themortgagenewsnetwork.com.